throw big monsters in the play, huge haymakers, this is the deck tech for you. Braids, Conjure Adept. Let's dive in. Braids is a legendary human wizard for two blue blue, and at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player may put an artifact, creature, or land card from their hand onto the battlefield. This deck is all about throwing huge haymakers into play, but everybody gets to do it, so let me show you to take advantage of it, more so than everybody else. One way to do that is to have bigger threats than everybody else. A great example are the Eldrazi Titans. For example, we have Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, right here. Typically, it costs 10 mana for this legendary Eldrazi, and when you cast the spell, you draw four cards. And it's got Annihilator 4. You may not get the cast trigger putting Kozilek in the play with Braids. However, we still have Annihilator 4. We can completely decimate an opponent's board as long as we get one swing in with this. What better way is there to ensure that a player doesn't get the Braids trigger? Making sure they don't have a hand. Jenga Taxius Core Augur will do that for us. It typically costs 10 mana for a legendary Praetor with Flash. At the beginning of your instep, draw seven cards. Powerful. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by seven. So if they don't have a Thought Vessel or Reliquary Tower in play, they are not going to have a hand, and therefore they'll miss out on that Braids trigger. We might as well ensure that our board isn't messed with. That's where the other Jenga Taxius comes into play. I've got Jenga Taxius Progress Tyrant in this deck. So it's got two abilities. Whenever you cast an artifact instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. It only triggers once per turn. However, the powerful part, in my opinion, for this deck is whenever an opponent casts an artifact instant or sorcery spell, counter that spell. This ability triggers only once each turn. So this will prevent our threats from getting removed by our opponents so we can keep swinging in for maximum damage. Some players might not be on that Braids game plan and they may try to remove Braids as frequently as possible. However, we do have some backup game plans to get our big stuff into play. One of those plans is using Mana Rocks. Typically, I don't recommend these large, expensive Mana Rocks, but for a deck full of bombs, they come in handy. For example, we have Hedron Archive. For four colorless, you get an artifact that taps for two colorless. However, you can pay two, sack it to draw two cards, which is pretty powerful if we've already got Braids in play and need some more bombs to our hand. Speaking of braids getting removed, I always love to have a backup plan in all of my commander decks. As Foretold is a great one for this one. For two and a blue, you get an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on As Foretold. Once each turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with a mana value X or less, where X is the number of time counters on As Foretold. This thing gets really powerful in those long grindy games where you can start throwing out Eldrazi, for free. Since every player gets the Braids trigger, everybody's going to be trying to put their best stuff into play and we've got to protect ourselves. I've got a nice land here that will do that. It's Labyrinth of Skophos. It's a land that taps for a colorless, but you can pay for and tap it to remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. So a huge threat's coming at us. Let's just take it out of combat and dissuade attacks against us. Bounce spells are another powerful effect within Braids. If they're throwing down big bombs, you might as well bounce them back to their hand to slow them down. And one of my favorites is Capsize. For one blue blue, you get an instant that can return target permanent to its owner's hand, but it does have a buyback of three. So we can continually buy this back and keep bouncing their threats to keep us protected. Thanks for tuning in to my latest deck tech on Braids Conjure Adept. If you like this, Please stay tuned for the next exciting episode of LVMTG.